So within physics, we try to describe uh, two things mainly, which are interactions and matter. Uh, now, interactions are things like gravity, electromagnetism. They basically describe how objects should move, where matter describe what these objects, what they are actually themselves. Uh, and within the standard model, um, we basically describe interactions and matter on the most fundamental level that we can do to date. And in the standard model, we describe interactions by particles, and these particles are called bosons. The matter particles we describe by a type of particles called fermions. Now, there's a bit of asymmetry since we described the one thing with bosons and the other thing with fermions. Um, and what my research was about was looking to see if a theory called supersymmetry exists. Now, what supersymmetry does is it relates the fermions and the bosons, where interactions can also be described by fermions in this case, and not only by bosons. And the matter particles can also be described in the supersymmetric theory uh, by bosons. An actual model that I looked for um, is the following, and you can see it at the front of my cover. And these red particles that come out are these new supersymmetric particles that get predicted by the theory. So we try to find these new supersymmetric particles using an accelerator. Uh, and this accelerator is situated at CERN. This accelerator uh, produces um, collisions at an energy of 13 TeV. Basically, the protons collide. And within the protons, there are these high energy particles uh, that are interesting to investigate to see if supersymmetry exists. Now we can compare these protons, for example, to a bus. And within the bus, there are uh, suitcases. And within the suitcases, there are, for example, um, containers of toiletries and all these. And if these buses collide, the suitcases go open, everything flies around. We see toothbrushes, we see shirts, we see everything. And we try to reconstruct this using uh, a detector. And there we compare the standard model background to um, our measurement, where we expect to see if we find supersymmetry that we measure more particles than just the standard model. Uh, we come up with a figure as following. And you see all these different regions here where we try to find supersymmetry. And all the colored regions, all the colored bars, are the different standard model backgrounds. And all the points that we see on top of these are the actual measurements that we did. We see that the points or the measurements nicely agree with the standard model background, meaning two things. Firstly, of course, that we didn't find supersymmetry. And secondly, as well, that we understand the standard model background uh, to a very, very high precision. We can make an exclusion plot such as the following. And what you see, uh, the masses of the supersymmetric particles, and you see here with the red line, an area that we have excluded now. We were not lucky in this case, but supersymmetry can be in all of these different regions that we had not have excluded yet as well. So it's very interesting to see what we will find in the future. And I look very much forward to the day where we actually find supersymmetry. Yeah.